Hi all. See this, this is a problem uh, regarding straight line, but uh, not that straightforward, okay? So let's go ahead and understand the problem statement and then we'll go ahead and solve it. So what it says? It says that we have a line that pass through the point 2, 3. And the line is intersected the another given line that is x plus y equal to 7, okay, at some point. Then the distance between that point is, uh, okay, uh, it's become little complicated, right? So let's see that the, in a proper figure. So we draw the x-axis and y-axis. Take the point 2, 3 and we draw a line. And this line, you can see that it intersected at the line x plus y plus 7 equal to 7, sorry, at point A equal A. So this is my point of intersection. It is given PA is actually 4 units. Now we have to find the slope of this line given line or slope of the line P. So let's assume that. So let's consider that slope. So let us take that slope of the line P A is actually M. And obviously this M is equal to tan theta. So that means the theta is the angle which the line makes with the positive direction of x-axis. So now, as it's never intersect the x-axis and all that, we know that we have to draw a parallel line through this point P and whichever the angle it makes, that will be the tan theta, that theta, right? So this angle you can see is theta. Now, we are able to find out this value of theta somehow and then we need to find out that tan theta value. That's the basic concept. So let's go ahead. So to do so, we just trying to drop a perpendicular AQ and we just drop a perpendicular. Now why we drop a perpendicular? So that we can able to calculate the tan theta directly. So what is tan theta? It is a right angle triangle. The triangle APQ is a right angle triangle. In the right angle triangle now, we need to find out that its tan theta is equal to AQ by BQ, PQ, right? The opposite sides and all that. So therefore we'll say that hence, tan theta from the figure is definitely equal to aq divided by bq. So that's the relation. But see that to solve this problem, right, we need aq and bq, but still uh, we, we are not able to find out that relation and we have to go ahead and uh, use that x plus y equal to 7. So that's why first we are trying to look for this pq. So what is pq? pq, you can see that this distance like uh, is x. And this is 2. So this basis became x minus 2. And uh, height or aq became y minus 3. The basic coordinate geometry. Now let us try to calculate what is sine theta from this angle. So triangle. So I write from the triangle APQ. Sine theta is definitely equal to y minus 3 divided by 4. And cos theta it's definitely equal to x minus 2 divided by 4. That imply that x is equal to 2 plus 4 cos theta and y is equal to uh, 3 plus 4 sine theta. So that's the option. What is xy? You see that xy is a point coordinate on the point of intersection. Where the point of intersection lies? It lies on the given line x plus y equal to 7. So therefore we'll say that that this point of intersection definitely lies on x plus y equal to 7. Hence, hence we'll say that 2 plus 4 cos theta plus 3 plus 4 sine theta that's equal to 7. Let's try to calculate that. Imply that 4 sine theta plus cos theta is definitely equal to 2. And hence imply that sine theta plus cos theta is definitely equal to 1 by 2. So here we are obtained some trigonometric relation between sine theta and cos theta. Now our job is to find tan theta somehow. So to do so, we just use this sine theta plus cos theta and we square both sides. So therefore we can see that sine theta plus cos theta whole square is definitely equal to 1 by 4, which imply that sine square theta plus cos square theta plus 2 sine theta cos theta equal to 1 by 4. So 1 plus because sine square theta plus cos square theta becomes 1. So we can directly write it as 1 plus 2 sine theta cos theta is equal to 1 by 4, which imply that sine 2 theta 
it's equal to 1 by 4 minus 1 that gives you minus 3 by 4. So you obtain that 10 to sine 2 theta. But we are required to find out the slope. So how we find that slope? To find the slope, we need to use this relation for tan theta. So you know that this sine 2 theta is actually equivalent to 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta. And that's equal to minus 3 by 4. So now let's uh, get that quadratic equation. So you get it as uh, 3 tan square theta plus 3 is equal to minus 8 tan theta. So now we can do this addition here. We just delete that, put a plus sign and equal to 0. So now again, it became say quadratic equation. So what is the importance of a quadratic equation? We can easily solve that, right? So to solve, we can see that its factorization is possible. Let us apply the basic rule. So to apply the basic rule, we again change it as uh, 8 tan theta. We write it in a proper way so that we can apply that formula. So it's 8 tan theta plus 3 and that's equal to 0, which imply that tan theta is definitely equal to minus b plus minus root over b square that's actually 64 minus uh, 4ca so is 339 9 into 4 that is 36 so that's it divided by 2a so let's write down it gives you minus 8 divided by 6 plus minus 64 minus 36 what is 64 minus 36 that gives you i think 28 28 means it's 4 into 7 that is 2 root 7 so we write it as 2 root 7 so that's the slope obviously after doing all those calculations this is the slope but still this is not actually the same value whatever we are having right so obviously we have to do some more calculation so let's simplify a little bit more. So here it is tan theta. So let's consider that, that we have that tan theta values. So what is tan theta? Here tan theta is two values. So let us consider it as minus eight plus two root seven divided by six, which can easily be written as eight minus two root seven divided by minus six, which is actually equal to one plus seven minus two root seven divided by 1 minus 7 which is gives you actually see that 1 minus root 7 whole square divided by 1 plus root 7 into 1 minus root 7. Why? We just apply that 1 minus root 7. So if I multiply s square minus b square so we'll get the denominator. If I square it 1 plus 7 minus 2 root 7. Now it get cancelled and at the end we'll receive the final answer that is 1 minus root 7 divided by 1 plus root 7. So obviously this is the slope and you'll see that option b in this particular case is the correct answer. So that's the way. So you just remember that that for this problem you don't have to remember and solve this problem right this is takes a little bit more time see that this whole problem yeah you have two to three minutes to solve so always remember that if the line of the slope pa is known let's say it's m right and it has a four units distance from that point p so any point coordinate of a can be written as in this form where if the p is alpha beta and all that stuff so any point will be alpha plus d cos theta y is equal to beta plus d sin theta what is d d is this distance so you can use this formula and this is can be treated as parametric equation of a line where this one given point p will be provided to you and a slope will be provided to you hope you understood the problem thank you